Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Ignition Time. Unretirement, yes you heard the phrase right, unretirement is on the rise across the country as older workers return to the workforce. Welcome to this new episode of Ignition Time. This episode is based on this article on your screen, this report from Bloomberg. Unretirement is on the rise in the country as older workers return. In fact, as more jobs are available and unfortunately as inflation goes through the roof, Older folks need money and they're coming back into the workforce. In fact, in March, about 3.2% of workers who had been retired a year earlier actually came back into the workforce. Now, this means that more and more people, specifically older people, are coming back in an effort to try and make money to pay for higher bills, to pay for higher gas costs, higher energy costs, to find a way to keep up with higher grocery bills. Let's take a look at this chart on your screen. More retired people are re-entering the workforce. The line in pink represents the average for 2017 and 2019. Now, as you can imagine, when the pandemic hit, you can see that black line, which represents the percentage of retired workers returning to work. After the pandemic hit, that percentage declined substantially. And by the way, that doesn't just apply to retired individuals, but that actually applied to the entire workforce. But now individuals who had retired are coming back into the workforce because of the high cost of inflation. Now, there is a financial need to make more money. That is obvious. But there's also simply boredom, which is actually persuading a lot of Americans to say, hey, I'm going to work. During the pandemic, a lot of people were, were scared for their safety, specifically older folks, even you know, much before the vaccine came along. They were concerned about their safety and they didn't want to work, even if they were getting paid. Now that the pandemic is slowly in the rearview mirror, a lot of individuals are saying, hey, we want to get back to work because we are bored. We're no longer concerned about our safety. Now we have a little bit of help with childcare. Maybe we don't have to take care of our grandkids anymore. Now let's get back to work. Uh, and the big thing, folks, is the rising cost of living. This is an incentive for many individuals to return to the workforce. And also some retirees now realize, hey, I can get back to work. I can potentially work from home without having to resume a daily commute. Now, what's interesting is that as more and more people come back into the workforce, the businesses that are standing by to hire these individuals, they're happy about it because businesses need individuals. And so at the end of the day, as far as the economy is concerned, people coming back into the workforce is a good thing. And I believe that at the end of the day, unretirement, as long as it's optional, as long as someone's not forced to end their retirement, as long as someone can actually say, hey, I'm going to work because I choose to, not because I have to, is a good thing. Because folks, what I found, and I'm 43 years old, so the challenge here is that as older individuals come back into the workforce, the big question is, are they able to get the jobs that they deserve? Are they able to get the jobs that they're qualified for? Because let's be honest, ageism is a factor in employment, just like sexism, just like racial discrimination. The big question is, are employers likely to say, hey, because someone's older, we are less likely to hire them? Or on the flip side, because someone's older, do they have more experience? And therefore, are they more, more likely to be hired than younger individuals? This poses a new range of questions as more and more older individuals come back into the workforce. In my opinion, there are two sides to this. One, an older individuals coming back into the workforce should be able to make their own decisions about why they choose to go back into the workforce as opposed to retire. Because remember, we're talking about unretirement here. And more importantly, are they, are they able to do a job that they're comfortable with? Because at the end of the day, when you're coming out of retirement, in most cases, you want to do a job that makes you comfortable. You're not necessarily looking for that high stress, the tension-packed environment that you've probably had to deal with throughout your adult life. So those are important questions that need to be answered. Now, as far as employers are concerned, uh, I can speak for myself as an employer. I'm happy hiring older individuals to work in my companies as long as they can do the job quickly and efficiently and as long as they can bring their knowledge, their wealth of expertise into situations to help solve problems in my company. For me personally, a person's age doesn't matter. What matters is their attitude, their productivity 
their skill set. And let's be clear, folks. I've talked to 60, 70, 80 year old individuals who are much smarter, much sharper than the average 30 or 40 year old. And I've also seen individuals who are 70, 80 years old who, well, let's just say they've decided to retire physically and mentally and therefore they're not capable and they're not interested in being part of the workforce. So this is not a black and white situation. At the end of the day, every human being is different. But as someone gets older, as they emerge from retirement to come back into the workforce, their priorities are different. And this in turn impacts the opportunities that they get. And it also impacts their quality of life when they when they come back into the workforce. And I think employers have to be very responsive to this. Employers have to understand this because at the end of the day, you're not just getting an employee, you're working with a human being and an older individual who is coming out of retirement definitely has a completely different sense of priorities, wants a different kind of a work environment, definitely wants to deal with a more balanced work environment as opposed to a stressful, high octane, stressed out work environment. And that really is the big question as more and more individuals emerge out of unretirement. So I know that we have both men and women who are subscribers of Ignition Time. I also know that many of our viewers and many of our subscribers are older, which I appreciate. I want to know from you whether you've decided to come out of retirement to work in the post-pandemic world. And if yes, are you happy with your new job? And also, while you're at it, tell me why you chose to come out of retirement. Was it because of financial reasons? Was it because of boredom? Because those two tend to be the common factors in this entire phenomenon of unretirement. And if you're not coming out of retirement to enter the workforce, I want you to answer the question, would you ever consider coming out of retirement to get back into the workforce? Or are you like, hey, I'm done. I've worked all my life. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to take it easy, which you're entitled to do. But the question is, would you consider unretirement in the future if the need came up, whether the need was financial, whether it was born out of a social isolation or emotional things like, hey, I don't want to be alone or I'm bored. Would you ever consider unretirement? And that is my question for our viewers and subscribers who may consider retirement and potentially unretirement in the future. So that's it for this episode of Ignition Time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Please click like, please click subscribe, please enable notifications. I work hard on this channel to bring you the news every single day. Please take a moment of your time to follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is ignition underscore time. That's ignition underscore time. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Take care. Bye.